Councilwoman Hickey. Good evening, everyone. Um, first, I want to let everybody know um, many of us up here on council were invited to events all the time. We do try our best to make everything. Unfortunately, we can't make everything, and we do have family obligations as well. Uh, I was fortunate enough to attend uh, the American Legion on Elizabeth Avenue, post 102, on July 27th for a flag raising, which was very, very nice. Uh, we have a new commander there. His name is uh, Jan Cook. He looks forward to making a lot of changes and improving uh, and doing some fundraisers and, and different events. And I look forward, I put my head in the game and I said, listen, I'd be happy to help you to do different events, maybe bingos and burgers and different kinds of things to help bring some community together while supporting our veterans uh, from the city of Linden and around the county. But he was, they were nice enough to present uh, Mayor Derek Armstead and the city council with a plaque in recognition and sincere appreciation for the dedication shown to post 102 members, which assisted us in all programs and activities to assist our veterans for God and country. So I'd just like to give this to the mayor. Uh, next, I've I'm, I'm been on the fire committee for a couple years. I'm very excited about the promotions tonight. James Iozzi, exceptional, exceptional fireman. Well-deserved promotion. Same thing with Thomas Wangarden. Uh, just very happy about their promotions. We're very lucky, especially after what's just happened with the fires in our city. Uh, the response, the uh, county, uh, county help that we received was absolutely amazing. Uh, the one fire, I, I was at one fire, I went to the other fire, I've never seen anything like it in my life. This fire actually melted parts on fire trucks. That's how, how hot it was. And when you see something like that, it really gives you an appreciation for our firemen, our policemen, our uh, Office of Emergency Management, we're all there. and. There must have been 30 fire trucks there from all around the county. And when you see everyone come together like that, it really makes you feel grateful for the things we have instead of worrying about things that really aren't important. So that's about my fire department. Casino night, everyone knows that I run casino night with Ann Ferguson for the Linden Housing Authority every single year. The last weekend in January, the 25th, it's a Saturday night, the weekend between the NFL playoffs and the Super Bowl. So we squeeze it in there. This is our 10th anniversary. I can assure everyone that we are gonna go up and above of what we usually do for casino night. So once I start advertising those tickets, I may hike them up a little bit. You know, we give you a lot for your money there. Um, and it's for the disabled and seniors in Linden. And, and so I look forward to doing that. A quick um, shout out to my residents on Stockton Circle. They've been living through a nightmare for the past year. And I can um, officially say that two weeks ago is the last time that your neighbor will put trash out at the curb at three o'clock in the morning and have no respect for your neighbors. The house has been closed on today and he is out of here. But I have to thank everyone in the city of Linden, um, every department for working together and uh, upheld, upholding their positions to help uh, all those residents who are having a really tough time. Trees and curbs, we're caught up on a lot. I know there's a still a couple out there that I've called into Frank Dan today. Please text me, it's usually the easiest way, 908-347-4548, so I can make sure you're on the list. Burglaries in the 10th Ward, had a, a, a chat with Chief Hart, and before I knew it, uh, they were on a mission. Uh, we can never release what kind of things our, our police department are doing, but let me just tell you, they were on their mission, and one night we got a couple, and another night we got a few. Um, but I want to let you know, a lot of them are, are teenagers in our neighborhood. The most of them, the doors were open on the cars. They're going to go in your cars if your doors are open. I believe it was like a 48, um, it was a very high percentage rate 
almost every single door was open that, that was gone through. So we have more police presidents, and I think that, I might need one more minute, Council President. Oh, go ahead. Um, pretty soon we're gonna be planning after the summer, um, Fall is here event with Armando and Gretchen, some refreshments, uh, just get to talk, hang out, and uh, please look out for that, we'll be planning that. Uh, lastly, I just want to put it out there that in, um, I've always appreciated um, Wood Avenue, and I've been very disappointed not to be able to get involved with it because of certain uh, reasons. January, I um, have told, I've told, put it out there that I would really love to be a part and help with Wood Avenue. I know I have the ability to help get things done. We have great residents who I listen to monthly at Kaminsky. I'm going to give you a call out. And I want um, this council to know that starting in January, I would really look forward to working with all of them and doing a great job to get us back on track on Wood Avenue. I believe together we, we can get things done. We have some great people on, on SID and I believe they've been held back and um, it's time to take action. We love Linden and, and we need to get things done and we need a beautiful downtown area to be proud of and not just one time of year with a couple flags up. We need something to be proud of every day as residents walk to that train station. And lastly, I just, everybody, enjoy the rest of your summer. Happy Labor Day, and thank you for really all being here tonight. Have a good night.